Diana, we have seen a popular prime minister step down, an unpopular leader of labor saying that he's not budging, and there are reports there could soon be more resignations to follow. Well, he is certainly unpopular, at least within his shadow cabinet. But Jeremy Corbyn is still fairly popular with a large uh, chunk of the Labour Party. So don't let's write him off immediately. His spokesman has said today that he is the democratically elected leader of the uh, Labour Party and he's not going to resign. But this Sunday has been incredibly tumultuous politically for Labour. Uh, at midnight, he had a telephone call with his shadow foreign minister, Hillary Benn, who told him that he had no confidence in his leadership, whereupon Jeremy Corbyn dismissed him. Then, uh, at around 8 a.m. this morning, Hillary Ale uh, uh, Heidi Alexander, the shadow health uh, minister, tenders her resignation and we've had since then uh, another couple of uh, shadow ministers tender theirs the uh, shadow secretary of state for scotland just now all of them declaring uh, a lack of confidence lack of faith in jeremy corbyn's leadership of the party so not only do you have on the tory side an incredibly divided party split between the eurosceptics and the remain camp without a leader or anything other than a, a temporary leader in the form of David Cameron, but you also have uh, a political vacuum on the Labour part in, in the Labour Party. Really, the only place where there isn't a political vacuum, George, is Scotland, where Nicola Sturgeon, the First Minister, is coming out with some extraordinary uh, comments this morning, saying, for one, that it's possible that the Scottish Parliament would veto. Uh, the UK's exit from the, uh, the European Union because it is so strongly against the interests of the people of Scotland. So it's been a very tumultuous Sunday. Diana, and, and I'm, I'm glad that you, you, you focused on the word popular and unpopular because I want to understand for our viewers as well. I remember uh, when Mr. Corbyn was selected to, to be the party's leader, there, there was a great deal of um, support for him at that time, uh, a surprise in fact for the nation when he took that position, but uh, has there been though a growing sentiment of people within his party who've questioned his leadership, his style, uh, and especially given the Brexit vote questioning whether he campaigned hard enough? The problem with Jeremy Corbyn throughout this campaign, campaign is that no one has really believed that uh, his support for the EU was really felt with any degree of conviction. Throughout his political career, he has been no fan of Europe, but because he realized that as leader he should take the stand of the Remain side, uh, he campaigned for Remain, but not in a very convincing fashion, and he didn't manage to carry his party with him. In fact, it was the Labour heartlands, the people who feel um, very much that the, uh, 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 the, the sort of right wing of the Labour Party does not represent their interests who voted to leave. Brexit was a very dominant sentiment amongst the Labour Party and I think his leadership, his shadow cabinet, uh, blame him for that and feel that they need a leader who can once again unite the Labour Party, which is incredibly divided, um, and contest a Tory uh, Prime Minister if it does come to a general election, which is very, very likely in the coming months, George.